Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalanya Engineering College, Koyal Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 2.4 in the chapter 2. We are going to solve the problem using the steady flow energy equation. The learning outcome to the students. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in the steady flow energy equation. The first example from two question paper, May 2016 and May 2015, a thermodynamic system operates under steady flow conditions. The fluid entering at a 2 bar and leaving at 10 bar. The entry velocity is 10 meters per second and the exit velocity is 10 meters. Entry velocity is 30 meters per second and exit velocity is 10 meters per second. During the process, 25 megajoules per hour of heat from an external source is applied and the increase in enthalpy is 5 kilojoules per kilogram. The exit point is 20 meter above the entry point. Determine the flow work, the work done from the system if the fluid flow rate is 45 kilograms per minute. So, problem to read panna write down the given data. So, problem that we have carefully studied, write down the given data. Inlet pressure P1 equal to 2 bar, which is 200 kilopascal. Inlet velocity is 30 meters per second. V1 equal to 30 meters per second. Exit pressure P2 equal to 10 bar, 1000 kilopascal. 1 bar equal to 100 kilopascal. This is what we have Exit velocity is 10 meters per second. Heat supply 25 megajoules per hour. So, megajoules per hour, we have to convert into kilojoules per second. Apa kilojoules per second na matrun naka megajoules sendi kilojoules matrun tuke multiply by thousand. Hour lendi seconds matrun tuke divide by three thousand six hundred. So twenty five thousand divide by three thousand six hundred equal to six point nine four kilojoules per second. Increase in enthalpy H two minus H one, which is five kilojoules per kilogram. Difference in elevation Z two minus Z one. Exit is twenty meter above the entry point. Z two minus Z one twenty meter. Mass flow rate 45 kg per minute, which is 45 by 60 equal to 0.75 kg per second. This is given data. Now, study flow energy equation is used. The general form of the study flow energy equation m into g z1 plus v1 square, v1 1 by 2 v1 square plus h1 plus q equal to m into g z2 plus 1 by 2 v2 square plus h2 plus w. Now, work done that contributed, you know. So, work done, which is Matelatia in the poka right side or the left side condoro. M into G Z one minus G Z two. Number either mode minus G into Z two minus Z one either. Plus one by two V one square minus V two square. Minus actually H one minus H two. I write minus of H two minus H one plus Q. Substitute M equal to zero point seven five minus G is nine point eight one. Z two minus Z one is twenty. Plus 1 by 2 V1 square, 30 square minus 10 square minus 5 kilojoules per kilogram. So, 5000, 5 into 1000 plus Q equal to 6.94 kilojoules per second, which is 6940 kilojoules, kilojoules joules per second. So, first value 190, minus 196.2, second value 400, last value minus 5000 into 0.75 equal to minus of 3597.15 plus 6940. So, the answer is 3342.85 watts, which is 3.34 kilowatts. So, work produced, the power produced or work done by the system is 3.34 kilowatts is the answer to the question. Example number 2. So, this is from November 2019 question paper. A working substance flows at a rate of 5 kilograms per second into a steady flow system at a 6 bar 2000 kilojoules per kilogram internal energy and 0.43 meter cube per second plus specific volume with a velocity of 300 meters per second. It leaves at 10 bar 1600 kilojoules per kilogram internal energy 1.2 meter cube per kilogram specific volume with a velocity of 150 meters per second. Inlet is 10 meter above the outlet and the work transfer to the surrounding is 3 megawatt. Evaluate the change in enthalpy and estimate the heat transfer and indicate the direction. So, in the product of the product, given data, you know. so, write down the given data. Mass flow rate m equal to 5 kg per second. 
inlet condition p16 bar which is 600 kilo pascal one bar equal to 100 kilo pascal 600 kilo pascal internal energy 2000 kilo joules per kilogram specific volume 0.4 meter cube per kilogram inlet velocity 300 meters per second outlet condition p2 10 bar 1000 kilo pascal u2 internal energy 1600 kilo joules per kilogram specific volume 1.2 meter cube per kilogram velocity 150 meters per second the inlet is 10 meter above the outlet so z1 minus z2 equal to 10 meter work done equal to 3 megawatt which is 3 into 10 power 6 watts these are all the given data so the to calculate change in enthalpy and estimate the heat transfer indicate the direction change in enthalpy contribute you know heat transfer contribute you know direction of heat transfer contribute you know so first change in enthalpy h2 minus h1 equal to m into u2 plus p2 v2 this is small h2 minus u1 minus p1 v1 so u2 1600 plus 1000 into 1.2 minus 2000 minus 600 into 0.4 calculating the change in enthalpy is 2800 kilo joules per second now the heat transfer during the process using the steady flow energy equation steady flow energy equation is penetrated we have to calculate the heat transfer the steady flow energy equation m into g z1 plus v 1 by 2 v 1 square plus h1 plus q equal to m into g z2 plus 1 by 2 v 2 square plus h2 plus w but q contribute you know so q in the package the matella value right side contribute bottom laka m into g into z2 minus z1 plus 1 by 2 v 2 square minus v 1 square plus h2 minus h1 so m into m into small h1 equal to capital h1 m into capital small h2 equal to capital h2 h2 minus h2 already number contribute to go are used for nila plus w substitute for nila m is 5 into g 9.81 z2 minus z1 minus 10 so z1 by z1 minus z2 equal to 10 so z2 minus z2 equal to minus 10 so minus 9.81 into 10 plus 1 by 2 150 square minus 300 square close the bracket plus h2 minus h1 2800 into 1000 so we have to substitute in joules per kilogram so 2800 into 10 power 3 plus 3 into 10 power 6 work done equal to 3 megawatt 3 into 10 power 6 the first term is minus 169240.5 second term 2800 10 power 3 third term 3 into 10 power 6 with the calculate program like q equal to 5.63 into 10 power 6 watts so 5.63 in 10 power 6 joules per second so it is positive so the heat transfer is positive it is supplied to the system so the change in enthalpy is 2800 kilo joules per second heat transfer is 5.63 in 10 power 6 watts and the it is positive value so the heat is supplied to the system next question example number three in the november 2017 question paper the velocity and the enthalpy of fluid at the inlet of certain nozzle are 50 meters per second and 2800 kilo joules per kilogram respectively the enthalpy at the exit of the nozzle 2600 kilo joules per kilogram the nozzle is horizontal and insulated so that no heat transfer takes place from it find the velocity of the fluid at the exit of the nozzle mass flow rate if the area at the inlet of the nozzle is 0.09 meter square and the specific column at the inlet of the nozzle is 1 meter cube per kilogram and the exit area of the nozzle if the specific volume of the at the exit of the nozzle is 0.495 meter cube per kilogram so proud of the padicha we write down the given data h1 equal to 2800 kilo joules per kilogram velocity v1 equal to 50 meters per second enthalpy h2 equal to 2600 kilo joules per kilogram area at inlet 0.09 meter square specific column at the inlet 1 meter cube per kilogram specific column at the exit 0.495 meter cube per kilogram First, we have to calculate velocity at the exit, exit from the horizontal adiabatic nozzle. There is no, it is, nozzle is horizontal and it is adiabatic. The equation is V2 equal to square root of V1 square plus 2 into H1 minus H2. Substitute V2 equal to V1 50 square plus 2 into H1 2800 minus 2600 into 1000. In the multiplication of 1000, 2800 and 2600 kilojoules per kilogram and we will substitute the joules and we'll multiply by 1000 so calculate the number 634.4 meters per second mass flow rate mass flow rate m equal to a1 v1 divided by small v1 area 0 
into velocity at the inlet 50 divided by 1 equal to 4.5 kilogram per second. So, velocity is 4634 and the mass flow is 4.5 kilogram per second. And the exit area, exit area can be A2 equal to, is the continuity equation used for A2 equal to mass into specific volume divided by velocity at the exit. Specific volume at the exit divided by velocity at the exit. Substitute for namanaka, m equal to 4.5 into specific volume is 0 0.495. Velocity number in country which is 634.4 equal to 3.51 10 power minus 3 meter square. So, velocity is 634.4 meters per second, mass flow rate is 4.5 kilogram per second, and the area at exit equal to 3.51 10 power minus 3 meter square. So, these are all the answers to the problem. We stop here. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in the next video lecture. Again, solving problem using the steady flow energy equation. Until then, bye.